All right, guys. So we have in front of you the Scar Audio ZVX, and we have the WLLDSE. Let me see if I can. Cy. Okay, it's not that one. I think it's this one. There we go. Okay. There. I'm just gonna move the tripod a little bit so I can <laughs> rotate it. I got a new tripod. You guys all know I got a new tripod, so I'm kind of learning the paces with it. So that's the ZVX, and we got the WWL. It's HCY. You said HCY. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna put these two. Obviously, they're side by side right now. I'm gonna measure them instead of pulling it off the tripod. Where's my ruler? I'm not gonna find my ruler. Mm. Okay. I'm not finding my ruler. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I couldn't find Jaji. You guys all know the rule of I've, I've used before the the wooden yardstick kind of. So we're gonna use this guy instead. It's just a regular uh, a measuring tape. So we'll do the. Can't see that on the cam. We'll do the uh, WW or WLLDSE first. It looks like it's about nine inches from bottom to top. And uh, ten and a half. ZVX is eleven and a half. Ish. It's about eleven and oh, I'm gonna say eleven and three eighths. Almost eleven and a half. Uh, terminals wise, let's look at the terminals. Now the terminals, they actually look like they're the same terminals. They, they do. Let's see if you can see them on the camera. There. Let me back this up a little bit. Whoa! Oh, it's not tight enough for you. To lose yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there's the terminals right here. Actually, I'll ju I'm just going to measure them. So we got, let me see here, um, about an inch and a half on the terminal, and about an inch and a half on the, yeah, I think they're the same terminals. And yeah that looks like it's gonna fit eight gauge wire all day and this one also same eight gauge wire all day I put 10 gauge wire inside of it just to show my son-in-law and it looked like it was it looked like it was floating inside of it <laughs> all right let me move back sound town here all right I just want to look at the poles on the bottom you guys can see the poles. Now this has two huge slugs. Now there's no pole vent down here, but it has pole vents. There's vents down here. And this is a steel basket. It's a short steel basket. I actually kind of like the short steel baskets because they seem to put out very good SPL. If you look at like Scars DDX or uh, Sundown's uh, SA series. I think that's what someone said it looks similar to that. They put out uh, some nice SPL with the the shorter shorter baskets and uh, there's no screen here but you can definitely you can see the nice coil it's nice wound inside and the scar and we've seen this a million times guys this has the big huge steel basket I think this is triple slug this is double slug that's probably one of the differences in the the height uh, pole venting I guarantee you this is pole vented on the bottom. Uh, I'll just leave that later. Yeah, pole vented down here, about a good one, one and a half inch pole, and it has the, the vents down here. All right, guys. And this one does have low holes, but the actual HST had no venting at the bottom. Oh, no, nothing, I don't huh? even think venting for the voice coil either. So we're going to get these inside the box, guys. Or we're going to get, yeah, we're going to get these inside the box. We're going to show you what the SCAR does. We're going to show you what the... HCY does and we'll be right back guys so stay tuned don't go anywhere all right guys so welcome back 
So you just seen the SCAR ZVX12 side by side with the WLLD SE HCY. HCY12. So you've seen them side by side. And we're going to do a power test on both of them to show what does what and what doesn't do what. They're both really rated for about approximately the same uh, power rating between RMS and Max. So I think the... Uh, this one's 1200 the, RMS, yeah, 2400 the, Max, and then 3600 peak. Oh, so they're really about the same. This one I think is 1000 Max and 3000 peak. Yeah, 3000. So they're about the same. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to start off with a woofer cooker test. And we'll move up from there. One's 350, one's 120. Yeah, one cost. This one here is after tax is close to four hundred dollars, and the other one's one hundred and twenty dollars. Say one hundred and thirty with tax, ship for free. I think they're both for free. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna start flexing a little bit, get her warmed up a little bit. Oh yeah. All right, give it a little bit more. So we're sitting around two ohms. <laughs> sitting around wire? two ohms. What's this one wired at? Uh, half ohm. All right. So we're jumping up to two and a half, three ohms. Let's give it a little bit more. So about 100 watts here. Let's give it another one. This is just a warm-up test. Oh, we just hit a thousand watts, easy. That just popped a thousand watts. Yep, there's a thousand watts. And that thing is shaking on the screen. You should see this video. It's wow! Seems like it's sitting there around 200 watts. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, that jumped up over almost 1100 watts right there. All right, I don't think I'm going to push it too much more than it's going right now. I'm going to try another test, a different song. that play out while it's going. I'm gonna look for the other. All right. So this is my tried and true. Oh, great. We got a commercial. So uh, there we go. All right. So this should start playing in a second here. I'm going to push this a little teeny bit more, see where we get to. All right, let's see what we got here. So still around two and a half, three ohms. 400 watts. Three hundred watts. Let's give it another one. Four hundred. Seven hundred. Nineteen twelve. Holy crap. Nineteen twelve. All right, so guys, we're gonna finish up. We're gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna get the HCY12 into the box and we're gonna see what she does. So we'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We got more bass coming your way, guys.
All right, guys. So welcome back. Uh, we have the WLL DSE in the same exact box as the scar. I didn't want anybody to have any advantages over anybody or anything. So it's on the NVX XAD13. Uh, the scar was actually wired a little bit lower, so that that is kind of cheating a little bit. It was wired at a half ohm. Uh, this is wired to one ohm. We just tested it on the multimeter, and it was 1.2. So we're going to start off with the test. We've got it on the woofer cooker test. We're going to do the same test we did with the scar on this and let's get going. All right. WLO it's about 40 HC watts right old. now. Uh -oh. Commercial. I don't know what happened. Got it wired. I think it changed. It's very nice. Yeah, hold that. Just cut that. Alright, sorry about that, guys. But then now you get to see the beginning of it, anyways, which is nicer. Oh, yeah. Alright, so about 100 watts there. Oh, wow, so we went from 1 ohm and we're sitting around 6 ohms. So it's really high. Where the SCAR ZVX was sitting around 2.5 to 3 ohms. This is, whoa, 7 ohms. So about 5.5 to 7 ohms this is sitting at. Uh, we're doing about 100-ish watts. Let's give it a little bit more. We got about a thousand watts right there. Yep, over a thousand watts, almost almost eleven hundred. All right, so we're gonna switch off now. We're gonna go to my tried and true, and I believe it's oh almost set up here. Put on dino battle, man. Alright. Whoa. I think that was on live power the whole time. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't even on dino power, it was on live power the whole time. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what we get. So we got 500 right there. We're gonna jump it up another one. There she is. This should hit it. Let's see what we get. 500, 600, and we're still sitting around five, six ohms. Four hundred, two hundred. I think we might have to jump up another one. Seventeen oh one. We just got there. Now you guys see it's all live power on the dyno here. Three, four hundred watts there. Five hundred. Thirteen hundred it just hit. We're gonna try it for one second. We're gonna pop it up one notch. One second on the next on the next baseline. I'm gonna have to look and see what that was. I couldn't see, I was actually holding the power button to bring it up and bring it down. So 1700 we just hit there twice. And I guarantee you that last baseline I did, it probably went damn near close to 2000. Just about where the ZVX is, guys. So this is definitely a contender to hit with the ZVX. SPL-wise, sound quality-wise. All right, guys. So I think we did our test. We proved our point. It's concluded. Thank you guys for watching. 
Stay tuned, guys, for future videos. Don't forget to like and share the video, guys. And most of all, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.